Hi, welcome to our calculator tutorial by Equator. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this Casio FX115 ES Plus and FX991 ES Plus C scientific calculator to do inequality. Now let's solve this one. Uh, we will see that minus x squared minus, minus 8x at what value of x y is smaller than 0. Uh, to do that, press mode with this arrow, scroll down, and then 1, press 1. This In this screen we will see the first, the second degree and the third degree. Ours is second degree, x squared, because this is the third, press 1 for second degree. And our equation is smaller than 0, so here we can see the whole uh, value is bigger than 0, smaller than 0, equal to smaller than 0, and smaller equal or greater than 0, equal or smaller than 0. Ours is number 2, pressing 2. Now this is asking for coefficient of first term, second term, and constant of the last term, ax squared plus bx plus c. Our first a is minus 1. I'm pressing this minus and 1. Minus 1, and then equal second term is minus 8 equal sign and then the last term we don't have anything 0 and equal sign now if I press equal sign so when x is smaller than a and larger than b y is smaller than 0 now let's check it this is courtesy of thismos.com and if you see this is our equation and if I show you the shading this is showing that when x is smaller than minus 8, smaller than a minus 8, smaller than, if I close, get here close, that's 8, smaller than 8, y is smaller than 0, and when x is bigger than b, that's 0. So under this condition, our equation is true. This equation is true. Now this is a third degree x cubed plus 6x squared minus 9x plus 1. This time we want to see at what value of x uh, y is bigger than 0. Press mode again, go down, and 1 for inequality. And then this time, because our equation is cubed, third degree, press 2. Now we are looking for bigger than 0. The first one, now this time press 1. And the coefficients are a, b, c, and d. So x is 1, the a is 1, and b is 6. c is minus 9, and d is 1. And then press equal. Now it says that when x is bigger than a, bigger than minus 7.2, and smaller than b, 0 0.12, and there is a comma when x is bigger than c. This equation is true. And this is our plot. This is our plot. And if we eliminate those shades, we will see that uh, a, when x is bigger than minus 7 at this point and smaller than 0 0.12 at this point. And when x is bigger than c, bigger than 1.1. .1 Three, seven. Now let's do the uh, equation of second degree, 3x squared minus 6x plus 1. This time we want to check if this is valid. We want to see at what value of x uh, the, the y is smaller than 0. Press mode, go down 1, and then for uh, second degree press 1. And this time we are selecting number 4, smaller or equal than. And then a is 3, press equal, and then minus 6, that's for B, and then 1 is for C, then press equal. Now it shows that X, when X is bigger than 0 0.18 and smaller than B, which is 1.8, Y would be smaller than 0. This is our main plot, and here if we just show the region, we see that x is between a and b, x is between 0 0.18 and in this area 
and 1.8 so between these two region now let's do another example this time it's 4x squared plus 5x plus 7 equal or greater than 0 because these are two different things now press mode again and go down and then 1 and again select 1 this time we are selecting 3 because equal or greater than 0 3 so a is 4 equal b is 5 and then equal and c is 7 once you select it it says all real number it's valid for all real number and this is our equation as you can see it's already bigger than 0 but if I want to draw the shade it's all real, uh, real number Thank you for watching. This was how to use the Casio scientific calculator to do an equality calculation. Please thumb up the video and also subscribe to get updates of my upcoming videos.